Hi, it's Professor Adam. Let's talk about the Balmer series and the Rydberg formula. The hydrogen atom is the simplest atom in the periodic table, consisting of one proton in the nucleus and one electron orbiting the nucleus. The electromagnetic force between the proton and electron leads to a set of quantum states for the electron, each with its own energy and principal quantum number, n. The real picture is a little different as the energy levels converge as they approach higher values of n, but for our purposes the simplified version will suffice. Whenever light or electromagnetic radiation of sufficient energy hits an electron, it may be excited to a higher energy level with a different quantum number. Spectral emission happens when an electron transitions from a higher energy state to a lower energy state, commonly designated as n prime. The energy of the emitted photon represents the difference in energy between these two states, which is fixed because each state has a fixed energy or is quantized. This means that photons produced from this transition will always have the same energy which can be related to the frequency via Planck's relation. If these transitions occur with frequencies in the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum, then they will give rise to visible lines, lines visible to the naked eye. The hydrogen atom has six such lines, four in the visible region, and two formally in the ultraviolet, but also visible to the naked eye. It turns out that these lines represent transitions from n to n prime, where n prime is equal to two. Johann Jakob Balmer, a Swiss mathematician, was able to describe the empirical relationship between these lines in 1885 using his empirical formula, where b is the Balmer constant n is the principal quantum number of the original energy level, and m is equal to n prime, which in the case of the Balmer series is 2. Several years later, a more general empirical equation for all hydrogen transitions was derived by the physicist Johannes Rydberg, and this version of the Balmer equation is the more generally used equation. In the Rydberg equation, n is the principal quantum number and rh is a constant based on an infinitely heavy nucleus. The Rydberg equation is applicable to any spectral series of hydrogen from the Lyman through Balmer to the Humphrey series. In each of these series their spectral region changes and so does the value of n prime. The Rydberg equation can also be modified to calculate the spectral lines of any hydrogen-like particle, such as helium plus or lithium two plus, by including z, the atomic number of the particle. Going back to the Balmer series, where n prime is equal to two, let's try and calculate the wavelength of the first line in the spectrum, the transition from n is equal to three to n is equal to two, where n is equal to 2 is our n prime value, and this transition represents... In the Rydberg equation, rh is the Rydberg constant which has the value given. First, let's fill in our values of the Rydberg constant and the principal quantum numbers, where n prime is equal to 2 because we are working with the Balmer series here. n is equal to 3 because we want the first or alpha line in the Balmer series. This then gives a value of 1.52 times 10 to the 6 reciprocal meters for 1 over the wavelength, which gives a value of 658 nanometers for the wavelength of the n is equal to 3 to n is equal to 2 transition, which is the correct value of the first line in the Balmer series. Let's check comprehension. <laughs> 